Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw on your eyebrows from no eyebrow at all, so totally skin. I have microblading already though, so I'm going to show you with my hand and other parts of my face how it would, but I'll teach you the right measurements on how to set your eyebrow up if you don't have anything there. So what I would start off by doing is I would have my pencil and it would be super duper sharpened if you see that because it helps with thinner lines and if I had no eyebrow I would take my pencil and go like this and I just draw a little line right here because right off the corner of your nose straight up is where your eyebrows would start and then from your nose in the corner of your eye that's where your eyebrow would finish so I'd go like this line her up and I draw a little dot and if you feel like that is too far down, you can move it up, but that will give you a general idea of where your eyebrow would naturally end. And then from the line, I'll draw it above mine. The line and the dot I would have, I would connect them and I would create a stencil of the eyebrow shape I wanted. My eyebrows are naturally they like square and then they taper off and that's how they were before so I draw a square this will be and just have it pinch off so you see that and then I would come and I would fill it with a shadow an eyeshadow that's close to the hair color I had so I wore really dark wigs when I was first bald and so it made sense for my eyebrows to be darker but a key would be don't go super dark. Like this is really dark now that I look at it. And I would come in and where the stencil is, I would always start in the corner down here because this is where your eyebrows are the darkest and I would fill it in. So I'll speed through this. Once you have your eyebrow, if you wanted to clean it up, this is when I would come through with a makeup wipe and you just take your finger and clean up any edges you don't like or if you want something to be sharper. So I do that. So here's my eyebrow. And if you notice, I didn't really fill it in right here because you want it to be lighter. I, we're gonna draw on in individual hair strokes and that will make your eyebrows seem more real. Wow, it's kind of weird, I have three eyebrows. <laughs> and then after, sharpen your pencil, super duper sharp, and this pencil is lighter. And then I'll come in with a darker pencil later, but your eyebrow hair, naturally, on the inside right here, is straight up. But your eyebrows, like, this doesn't look natural. Like, that doesn't look like an eyebrow. So I would take it and you feather the eyebrow and give it random strokes for, <laughs> I dropped the pencil, for the first corner in your eye. And as you go further out, the hair starts like this and then it curves out and then it eventually points down. So as you get further on the eyebrow, you start directing the hairs downward. So it's an upward stroke and then they slowly curve as you get further down your eyebrow. So you would come in and you'd take the pencil and you'd give yourself little eyebrow hairs. And this one is really light and I used a lighter color eyeshadow but I don't have it anymore. So I would come in, if I was doing eyebrows this dark, with a darker, this is a different type of eyebrow pencil. It's a twisty. It'll show up really dark so that you guys can see. but. Come in and give yourself hair. And it's okay if you go outside the box. Your eyebrows are not perfectly shaped. And if they are and you have real hair, that's great. But when you're trying to do a sell a fake eyebrow. And sometimes that looks super straight. 
I would come in and I'd have like one that went that way, but that hair went too low and you can come in again, same trick, take the eyebrow. And clean up the spots, but that could work as your eyebrow, except it would be where your eyebrows should be with your line and your dot. And if this is too dark for you, pick lighter colors, but this is how I draw in my eyebrow. And to match it, you don't have to worry about them being exactly the same. Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So they can be a little different in shape and no one will give you grief for it. But if you use the same measurements on this side as this side, and then you can come on top and go like this and mark the top of your eyebrows and that will help you keep them the same height. They will look very, very similar to each other. And this trick works for guys too. Like if you want a dude eyebrow, just make them bigger. Like it doesn't have to be girly. Come in with monster eyebrows and make them super fat, but you can do all the fashions, the feathered eyebrow, the braided eyebrow, people are getting fancy. But that's how I draw my eyebrows. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh yeah.